Speaker, I rise today in support of this rule in the underlying bill, H.R. 9, the Small Business Tax Cuts of America. Fact is, Madam Speaker, American small businesses are drowning in red tape, and the National Federation of Independent Businesses determined that tax compliance is one of the biggest costs. American small businesses now spend between 1.7 billion and 1.8 billion hours in tax compliance, and a total estimated cost between 15 to 16 billion dollars annually. This wasted time and efforts would be better invested in creating jobs and manufacturing products instead of handing over hard-earned capital to the government. I support efforts in to reform the tax code and make it a simpler and reduce those tax compliance costs, and I also support reducing the tax burden on American job creators. That's why I am glad to be co-sponsor of H.R. 9, legislation that reduced the burden faced by small businesses. Since 99.9 percent of all U.S. businesses employ less than 500 people, small businesses are vital to the American economy. In the 8th District, eight out of jobs are due to small business. When I return home, I repeatedly listen to the same concerns from small business people in the 8th District. My constituents are hesitant to expand their businesses as a result of deficient access to capital, complex legal burdens, and tax code uncertainty. The Small Business Tax Cuts Act immediately creates access to capital by allowing productive employers to reinvest more of their hard-earned money into their businesses. The bill will have an immediate impact on every city and town in this country. In fact, more than 22 million small businesses will receive much-needed infusion of capital. Several small business owners that I have personally spoken with in my district have already expressed strong support for this proposal. This includes businesses like RC Fabricators in Hibbing, Minnesota, which manufactures precision steel and aluminum construction equipment, Extreme Equipment Repairs in Harris, Minnesota, which specializes in large transport truck repair, and the London Road Rental in Duluth, Minnesota, which provides all kinds of equipment and party rentals for Duluth area. For example, because of the recent success in northern Minnesota's mining and paper industries, RC Fabricators has been looking for ways to expand, but High taxes have prevented them from accumulating enough capital to grow. This bill will ease that tax burden and allow them to update machinery, hire workers, and provide high-quality products. These kinds of stories are repeated throughout the country, and this legislation will help them. Madam Speaker, H.R. 9 is a common-sense pro-growth bill that will provide immediate assistance to employers and American workers as we a labor to uh, jumpstart our economy and ease the burden felt by small business and American families. I urge all of my colleagues to support the rule as well as the underlying bill. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I yield back.